All right, well, it's time to build a door. I got a big chunk of wood under this deck. My back is killing me, but there ain't no one around to help, so. Samurai's gotta get it done. to get nasty on this piece of wood. I mean that in the most wonderful way. Bringing out my KP312, you know what I'm saying? 12 inch wide handheld power planer. So that's how a samurai does it, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why I think I'm a gangster whenever I'm holding this thing, but it's just like, I don't know, I think they... I think they even explain that everybody does that. It's like in the user manual. You just can't use a tool like this without thinking you're a gangster. Sorry. It's not my fault. Anyways, I'm making a door out of this live edge piece of wood. Uh, let's see how it goes. This is what it does. Need I say more? Alright, so I've got the slabs mostly level. Use my hand planer, my big power planer, my six foot level just as a straight edge to kind of check from corner to corner. The slabs are flat, just look for any gaps and plane accordingly. <laughs> That's how you frost the glass by hand. Actually looks pretty cool. Clearly cannot see anything through it. Well, I'm about to venture into uncharted territory yet again. This is what the samurai does. But this time, it's out of necessity because the door that I made out of a live edge slab of wood that I cut up a couple years ago and had been drying underneath the deck, well, the slabs weren't dry. I made the door, put a coat of poly on it, installed it, and now it's starting to cup, which I kind of saw coming, but was just hoping for the best. And well now I've got to take evasive action. So I went and got some angle iron. I'm gonna put a piece of angle iron on the top of the door and then I'm gonna put some screws through it to straighten out the door and I'm gonna put a piece on the bottom. And I'm gonna kinda of age this and give it kind of a nautical theme, you know, like an old wood door with steel all folded onto it. And it's already got a porthole, so I think it's actually gonna look really cool. 
and also serve a functional purpose of keeping the door straight. So I'm going to take the scale off of this uh, angle iron just by sanding it off and I'm going to put some vinegar on it to rapidly oxidize and cause the surface to kind of rust and give it that old patina. Well, there you go guys, the bathroom door for the ages. Solid live edge, well, cut from solid live edge slabs of cottonwood, I believe. Pretty wild wood, it's got some fungus staining going on. Creates a really lively grain. I like it. It's a good contrast to the cedar trim. I still got a piece of angle iron that I'm gonna put onto the bottom of the door there. They only had one at the store. Another one's coming in on Tuesday, so I'll finish that off there so that the bottom looks just like the top. You can see I've done some brass screws holding that on there. And that took out the cup and the door perfectly so the door's staying nice and straight now. And then I've got my old ship porthole, the frosted glass. And then if you swing this baby open, See the real nice side is right there with that antique ship porthole. Who knows how old that thing is, but as soon as I saw it in the store, I was like, it must be mine. Boom. Mark door off the list of things to do. The bathroom is so close to completion. If you like this video, please give it a like or else I'm standing in a bathroom talking to a camera for nothing. Um, so yeah, your engagement really helps me out. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and Stay tuned for the video of the completed bathroom coming up next week If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and go check out the website. We got free plans We got plans for sale super cheap and we just uploaded a tool store section so you can check out all the tools that I use in my videos get brief descriptions if you want to purchase them, I would greatly appreciate that because Amazon throws me a little kickback and that helps me make more content for you. So, do all those things and then watch this next video. Alright, sunroom. From corner to corner, the slabs are flat. Just look for any gaps and plane accordingly. That's how you frost the glass by hand. Actually looks pretty cool. You clearly cannot see anything through it. Well, it's time to build a door. I got a big chunk of wood under this deck. My back is killing me, but there ain't no one around to help, so. Samurai's gotta get it done. Oh yeah!
about to get nasty on this piece of wood. I mean that in the most wonderful way. Bringing out my KP312, you know what I'm saying? 12 inch wide handheld power planer. So that's how a samurai does it, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why I think I'm a gangster whenever I'm holding this thing, but it's just like, I don't know, I think they I think they even explain that everybody does that. It's like in the U. Feel all folded onto it. And it's already got a porthole, so I think it's actually going to look really cool and also serve a functional purpose of keeping the door straight. So I'm going to take the scale off of this uh, angle iron just by sanding it off, and I'm going to put some vinegar on it to rapidly oxidize and cause the surface to kind of rust and give it that old patina. Well, there you go guys, about Well, I'm about to venture into uncharted territory yet again. It's just what the samurai does. But this time, it's out of necessity because the door that I made out of a live edge slab of wood that I cut up a couple years ago and had been drying underneath the deck, well, the slabs weren't dry. I made the door, put a coat of poly on it, installed it, and now it's starting to cut, which I kind of saw coming, but was just hoping for the best. And well now I've got to take evasive action. So I went and got some angle iron. I'm going to put a piece of angle iron on the top of the door and then I'm going to put some screws through it to straighten out the door and I'm going to put a piece on the bottom. And I'm going to kind of age this and give it kind of a nautical theme, you know, like an old wood door with a user manual. You just can't use a tool like this without thinking you're a gangster. Sorry. It's not my fault. Anyways, I'm making a door out of this live edge piece of wood. Uh, let's see how it goes. This is what it does. Need I say more? Alright, so I've got the slabs mostly level. Just use my hand planer, my big power planer, my six foot level just as a straight edge to kind of check 